In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure Outlook 2010 to connect to our email servers. First, you're going to want to go to File, Info, Account Settings, Account Settings, and then go to the Email tab and click on New. On the Account Setup page, you're going to be asked for your name, your email address, and your password. Just type in the name you want your recipients to see when they receive your emails. Typically, I would suggest typing in your name. For the email address field, type in the email address you're wanting to configure. And in the password field, type in the password you used when you created the account. It's going to ask you to type that in twice just so that it can be sure that you typed it incorrectly and didn't misspell it. Now you have two options at the bottom. What you're going to want to do is select the option that says manually configure server settings or additional server types. Once you've selected that, click on the next button. On this page, you're going to want to select internet email, connect to pop or IMAP server to send and receive email messages, and then click next. Now you'll see some pre-filled information on this page. Under the server information, we have an option to select pop3 or IMAP. Our mail servers support both mail protocols, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be selecting POP3. In the incoming mail server field, type in POP dot your domain name. In this example, my domain name is example.au.com, so I'll be typing in pop.example.au.com. For the outgoing mail server settings, you're going to want to type in smtp dot your domain. So again, because my domain is example.au.com, I'm going to be typing in smtp.example.au.com. In the logon information area, you're going to want to type in your full email address as your username. This is used for authentication reasons. So I'm going to type in John Smith at example.au.com and I'm going to retype the password I typed in earlier. The next thing I'm going to want to do is click on More Settings. Then I'm going to want to go to this Outgoing Server tab and tick the box that says My Outgoing Server Requires Authentication. I'm then going to want to ensure that the radio option which says Use Same Settings as My Incoming Mail Server is also selected. And then I'm going to want to go to the Advanced tab. On this Advanced page you have an option to enable SSL or not enable SSL. If you're wanting to send out emails not using SSL, you'll want to change your outgoing port to 587. If however you wish to send emails via SSL, you'll want to select the SSL option and then you're going to want to change the port to 465. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to be using SSL, so I'm going to use port 587 for our outgoing mail server and leave port 110 as the incoming mail server. Once I'm done changing my advanced settings, I'll click OK. To test if all my settings are correct, I'm going to click Test Account Settings. This will make Outlook try to send me and test email. If there's any problems during the sending of that test email, a red X will appear here. Since it's all green ticks, that means Outlook has successfully sent me an email and my email account settings are all set up correctly. So I'm going to click Next and then Finish. You'll see my email account is now there. Now if I ever need to change the settings of my email account at a later date, all I have to do is go to File, Info, Account Settings, Account Settings, and I'll see my email account. If I click on the email account and then click Change, I'll go back to the screen I was on earlier and I'll be able to configure any settings. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.